What's up? Uh, listen. Let's talk about this Terry Crews situation. Now, Gabriel Union went ahead and spoke about you know, some of the mistreatments that happened when she was at America's Got Talent and how how that it was very insensitive, some of the things that they said there and she didn't you know, she didn't like leave a very lasting impression there. She wasn't really too fond of Simon. You know, um, Heidi Klum, she's going to do what she does. And, you know, Howie Mandel is Howie. Terry Crews is Terry Crews as far as the new judges. But, you know, people who weren't there anymore and all these new people coming in, they're like, um, okay, Terry Crews is the host. Replace Nick, I guess. They had Nick Cannon doing it for a minute. Now, you know, he's been kicked off of NBC, the Peacock, because they didn't like a joke he told. And now he's doing pretty good doing another show. So Julianne Huff and Gabriel Union are gone. And now, you know, they got these new hosts in there and they bring in Terry Crews as he's going to be the new guy to host the show. So naturally, they ask him about the Gabriel Union situation. Gabriel Union supported him when he came out and said a producer grabbed him inappropriately at a party and he didn't know how to act and, you know, f didn't talk about it for years until this Me Too movement came around and all of a sudden he felt like, let me bring this back up again. After the guy apologized to him like the next day. So he already was, it was over and done with, but now it's, you know, this guy assaulted me, you know, and he made a big deal about it and people in Hollywood just like, for real, dude? <laughs> You're like 6'6", 280. But he's like, this guy's a powerful guy in Hollywood, and who am I, you know, in Hollywood? And, you know, if you want to work in this business again. So people felt sorry for him because they know the position. You know, he was not in a position he felt like he could say anything about it. But then, you know, this just seemed pretty opportunistic for him to start talking now. So anyway, after that was done, Gabriel Union came up and spoke up for him. She came out and defended Terry Crews. She's like, look, I, I understood the bravery Terry did and what he did coming forward. She spoke up in defense of Terry Crews. I mean, came to his aid. And stood by him when everybody else, it wasn't a very lot of people, you know, it wasn't a very popular decision to stand by Terry. A lot of people were not standing by Terry one bit. So, while this is going on, they have, uh, they, they bring, uh, they did some interview and they asked Terry about it. So, you know, what do you think about the Gabriel Union situation? Knowing that he just got there. All he had to do was say, okay, this is a trick question. You know, this is set up for me to go against the sister. 
And this reminds me of uh, old Damon Wayans, Jim. <laughs> when they, he's like, well, how would he say about Hollywood when they give you that money? <laughs> he's like, when they give you that bag, boy, you, you play that role. It's like, as soon as they give you that bag and then they ask you the question, do you think there's racism in America? No, sir. <laughs> and if it is, I ain't seen any. <laughs> and, you know, that's unfortunately the route Terry took in the interview. They asked him about Gabriel Union and her position. He's like, oh, well, I tell you, this is the best I've ever ever been treated in my life i'm like man and this is the best you've ever been treated on in life is a television show you must have some crappy sets you was on if this the best you've been treated is an nbc television set but anyway he was like this the best i've ever been treated i have seen no None of these things that they have in here, they have treated me, and it is so diverse. Here, it is just so diverse. And I'm like, what is he talking about? <laughs> what show is he talking about? I'm like, it's, uh, uh, what's her name? Alicia Dixon. I, I guess she's black. Howie, I don't know what he is. I mean, you got... Simon, you got Heidi Klum. I don't know who else. He's the only chocolate person I've seen on there. But anyway, he said it is very diverse on the set. And, you know, and he hadn't seen anything like this. And I don't know what she's talking about. And basically just threw her under the bus. And said, he takes something like what his wife says. He's like, so I got to go by my wife's opinion. You know, I, I just choose to go by what my wife say. And all that. I'm like, what is he talking about? <laughs> I really like, like, he's like, you know, I, you know, it's about sexism. So, you know, I, I can't experience what sexism is. You know, I'm a man, you know, I'm not a woman, so I don't know about, you know, sexism. I'm like, huh? <laughs> I'm like, everything he's saying is, like, confusing me because he's saying it with so much conviction. So then he goes from that to start saying, I got, so I got to ask my wife, you know, about everything, you know, about what's going on with that. You know, I just asked my wife. Now, all he could have did was just repeat, what Gabriel Union said, or just say, you know, that was before me, and I had no knowledge of that going on, but it didn't happen to me, but it could have possibly happened to somebody else. So uh, for me to sit there and make a comment, basically condescending just because it is, ain't happening to me, and I haven't seen anything, basically, I can't say it's not going on. You know, but by the way he gave the statement, he made it look like, hey, man, it ain't happening to me. It ain't happening to nobody here. There's none but diversity here. It's a great old time here at the Peacock. So if she had a lawsuit or something was going on, they will be like, well, look, Terry Crews is darker than you. And look at him. He's very happy here, Your Honor. And... She put something on Twitter after he made that statement, like, and it was just like such in shock and awe. Everybody like, man, like this dude is really feeling a certain type of way. Like this dude really believes like the hype. Like he's that guy. So, it's just, it's not surprising to me because 
some people they know only to cower you know they don't know how to stand up like he said the only person I got to satisfy is my wife that's it not my daughters not my mother not anybody the only person I got to keep happy is my wife all right <laughs> you keep believing that because women be like well we definitely ain't coming to see your movies Because he said, basically, whoever married his daughters is their responsibility to keep them happy. Okay. So that basically tell you he ain't going to be out there protecting nobody. So you ain't going to feel safe. That's all those muscles going down the drain. You see... Orlando Jones came up and he talked about everything that went on the show he was on. And now he's on LA Finest after getting fired on a show where he should have, you know, gotten more money. So. Now, you know, Gabriel was, like, going up because they were supposed to be handling this stuff behind the scenes, y'all. And I've tried to dance around this without really getting into it, but the hell with it, man. Let's just get into it, man. <laughs> I've been dancing around it because I'm like, I don't know if, you know, they got this thing going on with the lawsuits. But, look. All right, let me tell you this. They've been trying to work this diversity thing out behind closed doors, trying to do something with Gabriel Union to keep her quiet and, like, we'll put on a show or something. So they've been working all this. They just wanted her to be quiet on the whole thing. But now they're doing all this, this pettiness that's going on. And I'm like, wow, that's crazy. Because when they did that, it was like so out of the blue. But then it was like, okay, we were supposed to all be quiet about all this stuff that was going on. Okay. And they said, why would anyone get gleeful, get up on TV and tell lies that no one disputed? <laughs> but we already know. Can someone please ask me about what happens to all the diversity folks are talking about behind the scenes, like legit? Where the hell is all that diversity in the production, though, homie? In the de de decision-making ranks who control the fate of the diversity in front of the camera? Man, we all agreed to let the investigation be complete before speaking. But if we doing this, oh, baby, let's go. <laughs> let's talk about where's the diversity in the hair and makeup department for contestants that does not reflect our diversity that hits the stage let's google the execs that run the show and ask follow-up questions about that egregious lack of diversity let's discuss the facts <laughs> so she's hot you know she's real hot about that because they tried to make it look as if she was the crazy one by using another blackface. And sure enough, Terry signed right up for the job. Signed right up for the job. A person who defended you. Mm, mm. So that's why I always tell these people, hey, you want to co-sign people because you think, you know, you're supporting them because you, you see the calls and you see what they're doing right. Terry was never right. <laughs> he wasn't right in the situation he was in. But you took up for him because you wanted to support the brother. But the brother, man, 
didn't support her. And I want people to understand something. Don't blame black men for what Terry did. Terry don't represent all black men. And black women are quick to jump on Terry's back right now and put him as a prime example of how black men don't stand by black women. This is not that case. This is just a weak man in a position where he wants to appease the people who are cutting his checks. And he'll do anything to do that because he feels, I need to do this or I'm going to be out the business. He has no belief in his talent, no spine, none of these things that he needs to show in this situation in time. He's going along with what his masses tell him he needs to do. And he's been front, line, and center. That whole Me Too movement told Terry he needed to come forward and say something during that time. And that's why he spoke. Terry knows that. And that's why a lot of people didn't back Terry in that situation. A lot of brothers didn't back Terry. They was, man, get out of here with that bull. <laughs> <laughs> so, Terry, we didn't believe you then. We didn't believe it was legit. Not that it didn't happen. The fact that you brought it up years again later in that opportune moment, and then you had someone who took your back, a high-profile, you know, athlete, I mean, entertainer, an actress, she didn't have to do that. When everybody was jumping on your back and it wasn't a popular thing to do, that was an ally. And then she didn't ask you to defend her at all. She didn't ask you to say one thing in her favor. She didn't come to Terry and say, you know what, Terry, you need to stand by me. But you made an attempt to try to dis you know, like, disprove everything she just went through. How could you even speak on that? He knew what he was doing. He knew, he was just like, screw her, that's on her. Only person I got to keep happy is my wife. That's just a weak man, period. He's a weak man. No matter all the muscles he got in the world, he's a weak man. He's mentally weak. They got him right where they want him to be. So, we wanted to get, y'all wanted, probably wanted me to get into it. We got into it. So, there it is. <laughs> I mean, it is what it is now. So, they're going to have to really come with it now after they didn't try to run this. We are so diverse. <laughs> Uh, situation with the peacock so anyway I put four videos up there check them out don't forget to support the page hit the cash app up it is important when you guys hit the cash app up and support the page so that it gives us the opportunity to do newer things and make some more improvements and do a lot of different things so absolutely we got different things coming and then the Patreon, yeah, I know I know you're surprised with what you saw in there. Believe me, when February comes, we got even more. This is just the first month. It ain't been one month yet, and we've already shaken up the entire Patreon. So I, I'd like to thank all of you for that. Um, that last Patreon just probably blew your minds, and you're welcome. But we're not even close to being done. We have a lot of more in store. So on that note, I'm out. Deuces.